हेलो गाइस सारे पांडे हेयर फ्रॉम इंडियन विफिक स्कूल एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक टू एडवांस फ्लिप सीरीज इनसाइड ऑफ फूड इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड जॉइन आवर फेसबुक पेज यू कैन आल्सो हेड टू आवर वेबसाइट एंड चेक आउट आवर कोर्सेज ऑन हुडनी फिनिक्स एफ डी टाइफ्लो एक्सेट्रा एंड बुक यूर सेल्फ फॉर सेवन डेज फ्री डेमो क्लास एंड वॉच बाय यूर सेल्फ हाउ सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव मेड टू द टॉप स्टूडियोज इन जस्ट टू मंथ्स ऑफ आर कोर्स ओके गाइज वेलकम टू दार्ट वन ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड you can see as you can see like this this is a monster crack who is walking in this kind of uh, small patch of river okay so this effect is like uh, revolving around the fact that we have used a flat tank and we have generated some waves then we are using some collisions and we are also using boundary layer which is helping us in you know uh, minimizing the reflection waves like even though it's a tank but you can see like all the waves which are coming uh, towards the wall they are like not splashing or anything and also we are using some narrow banding all right so let us just start uh, by uh, by making a flat tank simulation okay all right so obviously we are not going to use any kind of sharp tools or anything okay so i will just start by uh, making a geometry folder and also if you haven't seen uh, if you don't know basics about flip simulation you don't need to worry you can just follow along uh, by watching my first series uh, where we have like uh, gone over almost every aspect of flip simulation okay so you if you if you know that series if you have uh, like seen it you are like uh, very good to go or let's say if you know the basics of flip simulation you can just follow along with this series and you won't have any problem all right so i'll call it source i'll go inside it and i will add a ocean source okay so ocean source is used for making flat tank simulations i'll press d and i'll change my background color to make it dark okay so ocean source is used to make uh, you know <clears throat> any simulations where we have like uh, you know uh, ocean kind of thing or where we have already filled the particles so let's say if you are doing a simulation of bathing tub so you don't really need to uh, like in reality we are going to fill the bathing bathing tub uh, with liquid uh, with water and we will just wait for 5 minutes for it to get filled but because we are working in cg because we are fucking odds we can just use a flat tank and like instance all the particles at once and that will just work okay so with that out of the way uh, let's change from wave tank to flat tank however we are going to use wave tank in our final simulation and i'll tell you why all right so we will i'll change it to uh, flat tank okay and you can see we are we are already having particles and everything i can just make it go above like this so what i want is uh, i want it to sit on the zero level so you can change the center from uh, whatever value it was to 2.5 all right so that is one thing now we can increase our water level okay so once we increase our water level you will see we are going to have particles like this okay and maybe i can increase it even more all right so that is one thing okay so that is it for the um, setup of a ocean source it's very simple all you need to know is like we are instancing particles we are spawning particles over here and those particles they are going to get used in our simulation okay so i will call this um, flip all right okay yeah now i just go into my dop net and i'll set up a dop network okay and i call this flip sim okay here i need to have some nodes once again you can just watch my basic tutorial and you will be good to follow along flip solver for solving gravity okay so as soon as you connect these guys in a right order you will see okay so first of all let me hide the other network okay and you can see we are having this small box and if i click on play it's just going to you know fall so i want to remove this default queue i'll just press backspace okay and i'll go back and i'll copy the flip path from here and i'll go back over here and i'll just paste it okay i'll change it to particle field because we are not using any surface sop or any geometry instead we are using particle field and that is it now if i play obviously it's going to fall again so i need to connect i make i need to make the box of flip just equivalent to this box so that it holds everything as a container okay so i'll go over here copy parameter from the size I'll go into my flip simulation solver and in this size i'll paste relative reference once again i'll go back and now in the center i copy parameter and just 
paste relative reference in the center okay so that is it now if i <clears throat> now if i like just click on play obviously it's going to fall again because i haven't told the walls to hold it so i can click on this closed boundaries and now you will see it's going to hold our simulation uh, inside this box okay next what i'll do is uh, i'll copy uh, copy this particle separation copy parameter go over here and connect it with my source paste relative reference so that both of them have same particle count otherwise if there's a mismatch it's going to cause artifacts and everything so if, now if i put it to 0 0.05 you will see uh, it's going to you know just work we are having more particles and you can press d go to geometry and instead of points you can change it to pixels all right so now we can see them as pixels and it just looks better okay <clears throat> so now uh, we need to set our uh, collision object okay so just to set up our collision object i will just make a toy geometry over here okay and sorry i'll add a merge so i can like see where it's lying in our flip box okay so yeah all right so now i can see both of them at once and what i'll do is uh, just you know i'll just add a transform node because otherwise we won't get a pivot to move it around okay <clears throat> and now i can just bring it up and uh, maybe in the rotation i can put an expression dollar f okay so it's going to rotate like this and maybe i'll multiply it by five so we'll have something like this okay and i'll just copy this and i'll paste it on the y and on the z respectively so we will just have a you know rotating motion like this okay all right so next what i need to do is i need to convert it into a collision source so once again if you don't know about these things you can just go back and watch my previous uh, tutorials i will put down a you know a link a playlist link in my uh, description so just watch that and you'll be re ready to go because there i've explained almost everything about this collision source and everything okay so i call this collision okay and here i'll call it collision vdb okay so you can see we are <clears throat> having a surface representation from this collision source so i can just go over here and <clears throat> decrease i mean increase the resolution and if i see now uh, it's looking a lot better maybe i can go even less 0 0.01 yeah or maybe 0 0.02 as of now <clears throat> okay so that is fine now let's go back into our flip simulation <clears throat> okay so now i will add a merge all right so now let's add a static object and i'll put it over here go to our static object in the swap path i'll browse and i'll go to my source and i'll use collision okay and I'll tell my flip simulation for God's sake not to use the default method. Instead, use volume collision. In the mode, I will change it to volume sample. Okay, and I'll provide it with my own sample. So right now you can see it's just display geometry, and if I click on collision guide, we cannot see any guide. Once again, just watch the basic tutorials I've been telling you since the start. All right. So yeah, now it should work. Yeah. Now if I click on this collision guide, you can see we are having a proper collision guide. Okay and i can just turn it off click on this display geometry and i can click on this use deforming geometry so now it's going to work with our simulation and if i press play we can see something is not working and that is because static object is taking place first it's getting born and then flip solver is getting born so he knows about this guy and he can just work with it all right so now if i play uh, press play you can see we are having this simulation okay and what i try to do is uh, uh, like <clears throat> to really see well in my viewport uh, about my particles i can go into my guides particles and i can increase this visualization scale so this way all the particles they are going to have brighter white color when they are having influence of velocity okay i'll go back to my particle separation put it 2.03 okay all right so we have got something like this and you can see our object is <clears throat> displacing all the particles all right so you can see even though it's displacing particles but it's not having some really great impact on the particles like let's say if you want to have like if you want to move the particles in a really vigorous way so uh, that's not really happening over here so what i'll do is i'll just press escape and to work with that what i need to do is i need to go into my flip solver in my collision 
and i can just increase this velocity scale let's put it to 2 okay and this is this is the thing that we are going to use throughout our simulation especially when our crag uh, crag is crag geometry is going to walk in the water so when we want to have more dynamic splashes we want to like <clears throat> you know uh, we want to have velocity scale being set to 2 all right so the notion of velocity scale is like because uh, uh, when there is something let, let's say if there is a spaceship or uh, there is an aeroplane which falls into water okay so let's say there is a big ship or a big spaceship or aeroplane anything which is falling crashing into water so right now <clears throat> so in reality that thing might be made up of aluminum or it might be made of plastic or iron so all the different objects are going to have different impact on the liquid so let's say if you have a plastic ball and if you throw throw it in the water okay so it's going to make a certain kind of splash then when you have a wooden ball and if you throw then if you have let's say a stone ball then you have a you know iron ball so all the balls uh, are made up of different materials and all of them are going to have different impact on the water okay so that is due to weight but in flip solver there is nothing like weight okay we cannot really define the weight of any object so this velocity scale is kind of something which is like working as a you know as a weight okay so what is the weight of your object and obviously you might say okay if we put it to two all the object different objects even if they are different objects they are going to have different velocity scale okay so they might be having different uh, weight but all of them will have the velocity scale of 2 so that's why we can also set this velocity scale on our sop level also okay so we will go on to that thing later okay and you can see now we are having uh, a really good simulation okay let's just make a preview and see all right so as you can see now we are having this simulation and our duck is like splashing more and more liquid and this looks a lot better because uh, previously even with the speed that it was moving it's it was not like really splashing anything and now it looks a lot better all right so that is it for this part and in the next part we are going to see how we can set up a narrow band simulation which will allow us to have the same kind of simulation in lot lesser particles so it's not heavy on our ram or anything and we're also going to see how we can set up our you know flip boundaries uh, it's known as a, a boundary layer which will allow us to you know kill the particles which go towards the boundary okay and uh, it will prevent our simulation from having this kind of reflection so as you can see this is looking like a tank i mean it's perfectly fine if you want to have a simulation where we where you are going to like show like something is happening inside a closed box enclosed box but because uh, we want to later merge this into uh, you know into a real ocean or something like that we need to get rid of those reflections all right so let us see in the next part bye bye